Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm doing a Pisces marathon. So I'm putting a lot of readings online. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, Luna is here with me. <laughs> She's going to be assisting me in these readings. Please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Some of these readings are not going to be your readings. Okay, so just check out in the channel, the tons of readings that I have posted for you guys, um, they're all timeless. So you can select the one that makes sense um, or that feels more resonant to you based on the title. And then you're going to realize that that's your reading, okay? For some people, these are spot on. For others, they're not. And that's perfectly fine. That's the whole point of doing daily-ish readings is for all of you to get a chance to have your energy tap on, right? I'm taking the cards that fall on the table, taking them upright specifically. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, energy moving really fast, really, really fast. I'm shuffling these cards like at full speed, and it's not my intention to. Messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, we've got the Chariot, fast moving energy forward. You're stepping into... You're stepping into one of those situations that come together before you're even aware of what's happening. Really quickly coming together. King of Wands, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very passionate, fire-filled person. Ace of Wands, new, passionate, inspired, spontaneous beginnings. Four of Swords, after a space of slumber. This is actually very very similar to the last reading that I did. My intention is for all of the most relevant messages to come through for Pisces. Three of Swords. Someone here, ooh, someone here has been in a space of pause. Someone here has chosen to rest, maybe take a break from um, relationships and interactions. Because they have been betrayed in the past, because they have um, been lied to. Someone in the past has been deceiving. Someone in the past has hurt you, Pisces. Disappointed you. Told you one thing to your face and then did another thing behind your back. And this created a lot of sorrow for you, Pisces. Suffering, emotional distress, emotional pain. And a very strong desire to not experience that again. Or at least not experience that in a really long time. So Pisces, there is a possibility that you chose to take yourself out of the game here. With the Four of Swords. This could be related to love. But it could also be related to other things. Family, job, opportunities, um, all sorts of things, right? But with the Four of Swords here, I feel like you took a step back. And you said, you know what? This can't happen to me if I don't expose myself to it. So maybe you stopped dating. Maybe you stopped working with other people. Maybe you stopped collaborating with other people. Maybe you stopped going to family meetings. You know what I mean? Like maybe you took a step back in order to rest and heal your energy, recuperate your strength, and just disengage from the constant exposure that you have to being hurt. But now... Something interesting is happening. Now, there seems to be a new beginning here that is igniting your um, interest. The Ace of Wands is a card that speaks about lots of fire, passion, creativity, fertility as well. So if you're meaning to get pregnant, this would be a wonderful time. Um, it could definitely happen naturally at this time. And if you're not meaning to get pregnant, um, try to take care of yourself a little bit more. In that sense, because it could definitely happen here, all right? Now we've got here this King of Wands, this very spontaneous, fiery character who tends to be very in control, who tends to be very fast making decisions that are good decisions, okay? They know what they want, they know how to get it. Um, the King of Wands here is also someone who sees you, is what I'm hearing. Maybe they recognize who they're dealing with. Could be from a past life. Could be a very strong soul connection. They know that there's something special here. It's like 
immediate. They can tell. And all of this fire and all of this movement, someone is coming and moving very quickly towards you. The chariot is moving at full speed right here. Or you're moving fast, full speed into a, a king of wands. Or someone is coming into your life full speed, full steam ahead. And I feel like this new energy is going to heal this past energy of hurt, betrayal, and emotional distress. going to be the same. You haven't been through one difficult emotional situation, Pisces. You have been through countless difficult emotional, emotional situations. And sometimes it feels like they have piled up. And sometimes it feels like you're just not the same person. And you wonder if you're ever going to be normal, again, is what I'm hearing. Normal healthy, standard, <laughs> or if you're always going to be sort of like connected to what feels like emotional baggage of sorts, it can be overwhelming for sure, but it comes and goes. It's not something that you feel permanently. When you're in a, where you, blah, blah. <laughs> sorry, when you are <laughs> in a good mood, um, you feel good, you feel passionate, you feel good. But when something triggers you, or when something reminds you of the past, or looks a little bit too similar to a situation in which you were hurt before, it's like all of these experiences come bubbling to the surface, and they become really heavy, really fast. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, specifically. So we got the King of Wands, and we got the Emperor. So definitely a fire energy is around you, for sure. The Emperor is even better than the King. So in the court card, we have the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King, right? The King being the highest form of mastery, the highest form of um, authority within each one of the elements, of the four elements, water, fire, air, and earth. And in this case, the Emperor is one step forward. He is even more powerful that the kings, that all of the kings. And this could be representing Pisces. You having the ability, the undeniable, unstoppable ability to take the hurt and take the pain and turn it into a treasure. You have mastered this in a way that few people have. Another thing that this could be um, referring to is I see someone here, I see a masculine energy here exploding with passion, exploding with inspiration and passion and drive. This person is thinking how to make something happen. You know, he's sitting on his throne, thinking about things, strategizing, analyzing. Because his passion is really loud. Loud. It's like explosive. Look at this. Look at that fire behind him. There's something here that he wants. Almost desperately is what I'm getting. Almost desperately. And then we've got here the possibility of also a air sign that you could be dealing with. That could be a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. Someone who could be spying at you right now. Wanting to get additional information that you have not provided for them. Trying to be objective about you. Trying really hard to get answers. Get logical explanations. Make sense mentally out of something. If that's not the case and you can't think of another uh, person around or an air sign in this situation, this could also mean 
that this emperor here, this fire sign, or this very passionate person, is trying to find a logical answer to a situation. They're trying to figure something out. Three of Cups. Maybe right now you are dealing with two or more romantic possibilities. Maybe that other person is. Maybe you are looking for something or they're looking for something to happen that is going to bring celebration into your guys' energy. Oh, this is interesting. I've never noticed, noticed this before. There's three women here. They are dancing, but there's one of them that's pregnant. I had never realized that with this card. Okay, so this is an indication alongside with the Ace of Wands that there is a lot of fertility here for you. So maybe this emperor is trying to make that happen. Maybe this emperor is saying, I really want a child right now. Or I really want to manifest something that requires that fertility. And they're thinking, how can I make this happen? How can I make this happen? How can I make this happen? They're looking around. They are asking around. Trying to study the situation and understand it in order to manifest it. <laughs> the world. Completion. Something is completed here. Something is achieved here. So what I'm getting is that... It's interesting because this reading doesn't seem to be about Pisces as much as it seems to be about how the other person is feeling. Um, and what I'm sensing here is that this emperor figures it out. They figure out how to have this passionate new beginning. They figure out how to release a burden and open a space for celebration, for something new. And they, they do it though. With the world, it's like they make it happen. But I don't see you making it happen, Pisces, which is interesting because this reading doesn't feel like a Pisces reading as much as the other person you're dealing with. I've got the Four of Wands. This person wants stability, more fire here. But this is more of a, instead of passion fire, this is more of a cozy fire. So this person perhaps um, has been wanting to have a home, you know, have kids. Have a very beautiful, loving home experience. And maybe that is what they're manifesting through you, Pisces, perhaps. I'm hearing that some Pisces are helping someone manifest this. Perhaps the Pisces could be like a therapist for a patient who is in this very passionate, almost urgent energy. Page of Cups. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for sure. But I feel like, <laughs> I feel like if this is a romantic interaction and there's someone coming in into the life of Pisces with all these thoughts and desires, Pisces is almost making themselves unavailable. So we, we see here this, this masculine energy almost made up of fire and Pisces going all the way to the bottom of the sea, meditating, thinking about things. Is this what I want? Is this right? Is this something I want to pursue? And by being in the element of water, they are making themselves unavailable to the fire. Fire can come in and get them where Pisces is, all right? This could be reversed too, so it could be the other way around. But what I'm getting here is that Pisces needs some time to integrate um, what's going on. The moon. There's a lot of things that Pisces doesn't know. There's a lot of things that are not clear. There's a lot of missing pieces, missing information, lack of certainty, mystery. There's a lot of also subconscious blocks coming in for both people involved or everyone involved that are making them perhaps feel a little bit afraid or confused. <sighs> but we've got the sun. We've got the sun, Pisces. You got the sun and you got the moon and you have the world. Nothing to worry about here. This 
is going to happen exactly as it needs to. You don't need to understand it. You don't need to have the answers. You don't need to make anything happen. This is here for you, Pisces. This is here for you. Let the other person take the lead. Let the other person figure it out. Let the other person make it happen. You get to rest. You get to heal. You get to focus on your own personal journey and releasing the past that perhaps have hurt you, has hurt you in the past. The past that has hurt you in the past. <laughs> kind of redundant there, huh? Um, but yeah, it's like releasing all of the experiences that have hurt you. So just let this happen. If this resonate, maybe the other reading called Let It Happen Boo, Let It Happen may resonate with you as well. So you can check it out. It's in the channel already. It's uploaded a few days ago, I think. Um, so yeah, Pisces. I'm going to leave under this video, as always, all of my information, my website, the online courses that I offer, the physical products and hoodies and mugs and all kinds of goodies, and also all of the donation links. If you ever want to donate to the channel, consider maybe getting one of the online courses. That way you can get something in return. Or if you really just want to do it um, wholeheartedly and offer whatever you can as a donation, whatever you feel like is um, your desire to donate, then obviously that is going to be deeply and completely appreciated. I want you all to know that every single person that has donated, I do a little prayer for and I thank deeply not only on the readings, but also in my private time, okay? I love you, my fishies. I'll see you very soon. And thank you for joining me for the Pisces Marathon. Bye, guys.